world would be easier on the eyes if people just remembered the faces more. Right, five steps to fix this. Wow. Let's check out the note. Uh, Johnny's favorite childhood books. Is this the wedding? Oh, everyone's leaving already, but it just got here. Seems to happen to you a lot at parties. Oh, go save your childish jabs for the insecure. That's what I'm doing. Pickled, uh, pickled olives. Of course. I see la fromage, but where's the mouse? That's the corniest remark you've made all night. Don't you mean cheesiest remark? <laughs> wow. An aged animorphs book. Oh, that's the wedding present, so this must be his mom. What else do we have here? We got a cork leaf here. Does that mean anything? Probably not. And the groom? The bride? Or... Are these th them? I can't really tell. I mean, we, we only got one orb out of... Oh, you know what? I bet they're at the... They're at the lighthouse. And now with the rest of them. The ceremony is probably just a formality. Here we go. Interact with me. Maybe inside. Do you feel any different? Now that we got a ring song, I mean. No? Why do you? Actually, yeah, I think so. What is it like? It's just different. Just the responsibilities, I suppose. Responsibilities. Do you like the name of honey? Would you like to name her Anya? I understand. I'm still not quite understanding. Yeah, Anya's a good name for her. Hey, come with me. Yeah, I'll probably trip and fall. Don't worry, just 
all of my steps. All their dancing. To the moonlight. I'm still trying to connect all this to the moon. Title drop. Ow, my ass! I think you stepped on my toes. Sorry. Come on, let's try again. Well, we danced all night. Completely disappeared on the wedding. Oh no, now is the wedding. To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health, for as long as you shall live. I do. And do you take this man standing before you to be your lovely wedded husband? To promise to love and comfort, to honor and to keep in sickness and in health, for as long as you shall live. By the power invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. But well, they both held on to that promise. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you Mr. and Mrs. Wiles. But these two must have attended a thousand weddings. Ah, wedding. Um, yeah, what do you think that was? I'm just bad at weddings, that's all. Blues tend to escape from my eyes. I didn't know you were that sentimental. Oh, did I say my eyes? I mean my mouth. And by flues, I mean both flues and the solids. That's a lovely image. Thanks, Phil. Come, let's find a way to get out of here. All this happiness with George is really putting you off too, huh? No, I just don't like watching people make mistakes. Sheesh, whatever happened to just take it moment by moment. <laughs> yeah, that just got really dark for a second. Hey, priest. Do we see uh, Nicholas and Isabel here? Anywhere? Maybe these are them. So Isabel has the same condition as um, as... As river but I wonder if that's how they met I mean through this common illness no Nicholas actually Nicholas said he knew uh, Johnny since middle school so they are old friends lifelong friends and it's curious that they both married someone with the same condition Oh, I'd better go see how your aunt is doing. All right, Ma. Tell her thanks for coming. I will. And here's the children's book that I th that I know you still enjoy. I'm so proud of you, Joey. Joey? Oh, that's my grandpa's name. He passed away before I was born. Ma calls me by it as my nickname. How come you never told me about it? Cause I'd rather you call me John. Ack, no, not a sentimental grandparent childhood. What do you have against those anyway? I mean, you should talk about your grandfather a lot. What? No, I don't. Whatever you say. Note Joey. Johnny's nickname named after his grandfather. I wonder, I'm already just itching to replay this game just to see all the missing bits and pieces from the established knowledge base. I'm so proud of Joey. We're missing one orb and it's not a wedding cake. Also, we don't seem to have the memento. So 
we got something else going on here. We have got a lot of cars here coming to attend the wedding. Oh, is that a bunny? It can't be helped, River. I'm sure they didn't mean to. Come on, we're late. Wait, is that a rabbit? I think this is the source of all those folded paper ones. Why would she obsess over some roadkill? Not to mention so many years later. Don't ask me, you're the woman. You're the woman here. I'll be convinced that I'm the only one with you to a cordless bungee jump. So we got all the mementos. Come on, River, we're late. So some dead rabbit. A dead rabbit is rammed over on the day of their wedding. We also have these items, and item is kind of strange concept here. So far, his uh, heart monitor is still normal. So what could have led to it? She sees a dead rabbit on her wedding day, and somehow that image can like stayed with her. Was she trying to? Was she trying to like reconnect to her wedding day? The day that she said she didn't feel any differently. This is another really easy one. Maybe they're all really easy. Maybe I'm just smart at some times and they're stupid at others. It's very possible. Activate the dead rabbit! You know it's a fantastic wedding with a mementos a roadkill. <laughs> hey. Maybe she saw it as a metaphor for the terrible marriage. So years later she began folding the rabbits because she was reminded of how rotten it was. Or, you know, something equally pretentious. Cool story name. Okay, now that he said it out loud, that version of the interpretation is completely ruled out. Oh, the poor bunny is just getting rammed over and over again. Poor thing. What's with all the road kills today? Don't you look at me like that. Smells like a farm. And road kill. Deactivate the sand simulator or get away from here already. So this, if the road kill is the memento, then we can't have jumped back very far. This is probably just early in the day. Oh no, we're being rammed around. A horse! What the hell? Whoa! Don't do it. Don't do what? You know what? Don't not ride this horse? What are you, five years old? Okay, I won't... I will not ride it. And he's a... Hiya! I'm proud of you, Rod. Uh, Nail. Quit wasting time, Nail! Oh, crap! That can't be good. Well, he can't be hurt here, right? Don't, don't just stand there! Help me! Damn it, this was not in the job description. Received a note Dr. the nail once. Uh, what we got? <laughs> Dr. Nail once. Village idiot. It's funny. I mean, he can't be heard. And this is like the mirror dimension in Doctor Strange, I think. Oh, no, you can't be heard in that dimension. But, I mean, if you can interact with things without suffering the consequences, then yeah. I'd be uh, open to explore a lot of dumb shit. So I guess horses, they have, what, special senses? Like, how far back are we? Why are we seeing horses?
And how long has been that bunny be on the middle be in the middle of the road? I think we can rule out earlier in the day. So where'd he go? We got a stable here? Oh hey, look at that. I guess I gotta, I gotta find Nail first. Oh, maybe not. Is that really a good idea? She should be okay, she's not new to this anymore. But she has never done it by herself before. I'll be fine, I'm not a child. Oh, dang. River! The matter let's go hey wait up oh they're having fun am i supposed to join them huh i wonder if they've got off the horse yet this is about 19 percent more than i can handle what a moron Gotta go save his bomb. I don't think he's saving. I can gallop. I didn't expect this. Like, am I really supposed to do anything about that? Got him. Thanks! Ow. Hey, they found something here. Here, this memento will do. You have to line it up carefully with the horse though. Don't look at me, I'm not getting on that beast again. Right, I'll just uh, go check down the orbs. Okay, uh, I got all the orbs. This is pleasant. Getting good. You know what? I should have stopped selling myself short. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, we've reached the consensus on the results. Unfortunately, like many cases of pervasive development disorders, okay, pervasive developmental disorders, this is a rather late diagnosis. Pervasive developmental disorders, what does that mean? Had you, had you known when you were a child, miss, could have saved you a lot of trouble. Do 
Do you have any books on it? This one is by Tony Atwood. He's one of the specialists on the subject. You can borrow it free of charge for now. Just don't elope with it. Thanks, Doc. Now, are you two a couple? I'm married and without any other current legal affiliation. Yes, I see. Well, I could give you a referral to a specialized counselor if you wish. Is there anything unsettling in the relationship? No. And you, sir? No, it's fine. Nonetheless, sir, you should also give the book a read. It'll help you understand her condition. I'd rather not. Why is that? Well, it's your call. In the meantime, there's a thing called equine therapy that might help her. A ranch just north of here offers it. I can contact them for you. Told you so. Okay, pervasive developmental disorder. I just, I'm not quite understanding that. Note Tony Atwood. The author of a series of books on Rivers' condition. Oh, he changed the notes. Dr. Neil Watts, a pretty cool guy. <laughs> That's awesome. So why wouldn't he want to understand the condition? Is he in denial, or is he like, I'm not gonna change her. I'm gonna not gonna treat her any differently because of anything. A plain tawny uh, handbag. So this is the waiting room. She's she's the already has the toy. I can't believe this piece of atrocity is dated all the way back here. Looks like someone took good care of it. She's still got pretty bad taste in animals though. Excuse me, could you please silence the clock? The ticking really bothers her. It's not that severe. I'll be okay. No problem. It's standard policy. If there's anything at all that makes you uncomfortable, just let me know. Thank you. Huh. I guess that explains the ones in the house. Yeah, they're all quiet. She doesn't like clock ticking. Just a bit longer. They'll be calling for you soon. Something River can't stand the clock ticking. to be traveling by this clock so we're go definitely gonna be back here right unless they can track all clocks or all things related to time or anything is that how it works well this is another one it gets a little fuzzy Oh, we are dealing with the entire frame now. Things are getting more difficult. Not ideal, but okay. Psst, look. I 
though I can't believe he once paid to see this crap in theater. No, you idiot! Look, we leap, we leapt. Oh, he's a child. Shit! Holy, overcooked macaroni! The kids in the theater all by himself. What a loser! Hey, I go to theater by myself all the time. What's wrong with that? You think you're so cool because you, you you go to theater with a girl or something? You know, honestly, I prefer company. But you know what? I, I watch like, well, I can't do that now because of the coronavirus thing. But when theater is actually open and operational, I go to theater like I go to the cinema like once or twice every week, and nobody else, none of my friends, can possibly. Uh, just can't catch up with that. So I understand. You go to the theater by yourself all the time. See, that's different. No one's competent enough to match my taste. Exactly, Neil. I got you. But seriously, I do like prefer company. But that aside, how could anyone last through this rubbish? What's being played? Oh, he's waiting for someone who didn't show up. Is it Nicholas? And thus, this movie sucks on both physical and metaphysical levels. QED. Come on, let's go. What? All right. Well, you want to stay and watch the movie? I mean, this is not a bad turnout. Whoa, wait, I ain't talking to no emo teenager. Grammar, my dear Watson. Shut up, that's not even a full sentence. Let's just look for mementos. I guess the realization also counts as one. Uh, cinema? Can we buy some candy? What are you doing? That's the third person you've removed here. Eh, not like it's permanent. I can remove people? Heck yeah. I'm not gonna remove all of you. You know that poking them out of the way like that like that does nothing, right? And why complain? I'm just having fun. I'm just gonna get rid of everybody. None of you exist. I wonder if this is actually a thing that I can do. Nope, can't do it. Can't do that one. Hey, you don't exist. Oh look, this place is all empty and creepy now. I hope you're happy. I am actually. What was that? going on getting stood up oh that's a Kodak moment you relate well with your kin I see with what's with the electricity well there's nothing here hate to say it but I guess I have to nag something out of him again all yours at least there's no olives this time While we're going to the bathroom. Oh, hey, look who's that. River? You were in there this whole time? I waited for you at the lobby. I thought you didn't come. Why did you leave? I thought we were watching the movie together. Oh, she doesn't understand, like, that they shouldn't be sitting together. Huh? I'm the one who should ask that. What do you mean? 
We were watching the movie together and then you left. Oh, we weren't watching it together. I didn't even know where you were. If you saw me in there, why didn't you come and find me? What difference does it make? We were watching the same movie in the same room. Haha. <laughs> okay. What's wrong? You're so weird. Do you not want to watch the movie together anymore? Of course I do. Come, let's head back in before it ends. That's... Awkwardly adorable, is how I would describe it. If she genuinely doesn't understand, that is not a social normalcy. And he likes her, in spite of not understanding her. I feel like I should make a clever remark, if you feel wrong. <laughs> well, let's hope our ride's waiting for us in there. Oh, we can't get in there. Maybe we can get into the bathroom? Wait, is that... The heart monitor? Nope, thankfully it's still pretty normal. There they are. Well, the plat. plat. platypus is taking up a whole se isolated seat. We have teleported through this little thing so many times. I wonder if they're having a good time. Oh, they're having a good time. The movie doesn't even matter now. It can be a completely shitty movie like, uh, I don't know, Independence Day 2. Resurgence or something, that movie sucked. But you know what, if you're with friends or special someone, it really doesn't matter. Okay. Don't get me on the topic of movies, I've never stopped. You got five steps to save the world. Yeah, let's... You know what, let's up the, st up the stakes a little bit. I've been taking this pretty casually, but... Let's say I have to do this in five steps. Let's just say if I don't complete this puzzle in five ideal steps, the world ends. Now, can I save the world? Or can I not? Remember, your life hangs in my wisdom. Don't you feel safe? Hmm. I don't know how to do this. all about the diagonal again. Actually, I'm not too sure about that. Well, guys, I failed. I did not save the world in five steps. I guess the world is gone now because of my failure to activate this plat platypus in the most ideal sequence. I'm gonna drown that sense of guilt. In whatever stack I can find right now. Let's see what do I have here.
I got some chocolate cookies, but I'd rather not do that. While I'm recording the video, it's it's noisy when you chew them. Uh, come on, dude, grow some balls. Um, what are we doing? Oh, asking her out. It's not that. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Oh, sheesh. What could possibly happen? Just think about it. Worst case scenario, she says no. You strut on like nothing happened. No one will know, and everyone will still think you're cool. But what, she, what if she tells someone? Or yells at me? Don't be a little wuss. <laughs> or, or says yes, but really means no. Quit worrying, who would do that? And what if she throws an encyclopedia in my face? I don't even have a helmet. Dear lord, I'm so not prepared for this. Dude, don't panic. Just straight your spine and quit being a little wuss. Yeah, you tell him. Everything will be right. Just turn around. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, hey what are you... That's what a friend does. Ahem. Hello. She has the Plapatus now. Um, hello. Before they even met, dang. Can you hear me? Yes. Then why did you... Never mind. That's a cool platypus you got there. What are you reading? A book? About platypus? No. Oh, I, uh, I think that's great. Hey, uh, you wanna go lighthouses? Huh? There are exactly 16 second order Fresno lens lighthouses in the country left. She did throw us encyclopedia at him. None of them are coastal, and one of them was modified from a historic kerosene lamp lighthouse. Oh, is that what you're reading about? Sometime? I don't know. That's okay. I'll give it time to consider it. I can't. Why? There's no date or time. Oh, um, how about this Saturday at 8? Well? I think the system froze. Yes. Oh, great! Never mind. Uh, I guess we'll work out the details later. Um, I'll just... Oh, that's cute. What? What are you looking at me for? I is he crying? You think I'm going to call out how utterly awkward that was? Well, just forget it. I'm not giving in to your expectations. Give him a break. He was still just a kid. Hell, I'm still awkward like that. I'm about 30. You of all people should be late. What's that supposed to mean? Shut up and go. Shut up isn't my name, you know. Might as well be. Uh, that was really cute. So this is an inappropriate question. How do you set up a date and time for a movie without details like what the movie is and uh, where it's being shown? How do you just decide to go to a movie at a Saturday at 8 o'clock without knowing if there is an appropriate movie choice at a Saturday at 8 o'clock? Never mind, it's not important. Okay. I wonder if she's actually reading the uh, Emperor's New Clothes. Well, I suppose if you look at it from the right angle... Nope, not really. It uh, never mind. We just gotta have to really get used to the platypus. What the heck 
What are you doing there, dude? What? I asked her out. No, that was pathetic. If I were you, I would have just barged in there and be like, Hey, you, go out. Me, you, now. That's just terrible. I know, and it would have still been better than what you just did. <laughs> the encouraging friend is completely gone now. Leonardo da Vinci trained by drawing eggs. Barrels are like very big eggs. Therefore, you will be a very big da Vinci. <laughs> That's not how it works, but dream big. Dear Lord, I can't believe you got me to take this stupid class. Oh, come on, it's fun. Only if you can paint. You get good if you practice, you know? Yeah, right. After this class, I'm never picking up a brush again. Yeah, he's not doing it so hard, but you know what? I wouldn't be able to do any better. Quit complaining. I'm sure you'll learn to enjoy it someday. Why do we have to draw stupid barrels anyway? Is that supposed to be a barrel? We are alarmingly still not look finding a lot of orbs. Anyone? Anyone at all? Disappointing children. Alright then. Uh, River, why don't you answer it? What the hell? I hate it when teacher does that. I know you know the answer. We're waiting, River. No, you're waiting. Nobody else cares. Fine, I guess we'll have to. He made sail on August 3rd of 1492 from the Spanish city of Palos de la Frontera, which was founded in 1322 and granted to Alva Perez de Guzman, who was at the mere age of 14, but... Okay, okay, only asked for the date. But see, was that so hard? Actually, yeah, that was pretty hard to answer to that magnitude. Good lord, does everyone with her condition have near photographic memory? Not really, though I think their rote memory is often fairly strong. That's pretty strong indeed, are we talking about Columbus? That sounds like Columbus. I want to have memory like that. I'll sacrifice all my social skills for whatever they are in exchange for a memory like that. I'd be able to just spew random Wikipedia pages at people at random for random reasons. That'd piss so many people off. It'd be awesome. Psst, she's coming this way. I'll tap. I'll tap. <laughs> to see the note, I'll tap. Okay, that's something kind of Kind of like a phrase they say to each other. Lifesaver. Oh no, they're 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 they at computer class, so they. Well, what are they watching? Out F four, out F four. You you kids watching porn with a like a school computer? That's pretty ballsy. We played games on it. Maybe that was it. Maybe they were just uh, playing solitaire or something. Cafeteria only open during lunch hours. I highly doubt that though. That's a wrap. Your chumps better be uh, better next time. And atrium. We could use this place later. I just can't believe that these cord lines are rectangles in his head. Oh, he's... 
when he's so bad at sports, he doesn't know what a three-point line in a basketball court looks like. Ah! Fine, you win. Booyah! Oh, I bet the backpack is gonna be the memento again. Yeah, she's unique, but she's unique by... she's uniquely boring. I mean, just look at her. She just sits there by herself all day, in the creepy deformed duck toy. It's not a deformed duck, it's a platypus. What the heck's a platypus? Quit, ma quit making words up. Anyway, she's just so off, you know? It's like she's from a totally different planet or something. I know, isn't that cool? Ah, if you're into aliens and that sort of stuff, I guess. But really, if you want to be weird, why don't you just go hang with the emos and the gods? Well, for one, I don't want to ruin my hair. The fact that we got a name for them says a lot too. Look, Nick, I just I just don't want to be another typical kid in a sea of typical people. But how the heck would being with her change your own identity? I mean, you'd just be some guy who hangs up with a shy girl. She's not just shy, Nick. There's something strange about her. Being strange isn't always a good thing, you know? Do you even know if she wants to be different? Maybe she just wants to fit in like everyone else. And if she does, pushing her the other way wouldn't help, would it? Look, Nick, the point is that I know what I need. And she's the one who has it. So you want her for what she has, but not for her. That's cold, man. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. I think you're wrong though. People aren't that typical. Everyone's unique in some way. That's just what grandma tells you. That's what that's just what grandmas tell you. <laughs> yeah, like uh everybody's everybody's unique. It, it equals everybody's the same, that kind of thing. Wait, so this guy's some kind of a human hawking hipster? That's sort of disturbing. You know, sometimes I want to slap our clients upside the head. It's high school, everyone's a bastard. But hey, welcome to the club. Wait, so this is what he told her about- So this is what he told her about at the cliff? I suppose so. She then went cuckoo and began to make those creepy rabbits, right? Because he confessed this from who knows how long ago. I guess she's pretty good at holding the grudge. I'm not buying it. Something feels missing. Then go get a hat, Sherlock. Come on, I think our passport's leaning against the table there. Yeah, there's still a lot of things missing here. I mean, uh, uh, maybe he did it initially for a selfish reason. And it's a pretty goddamn weird selfish reason, that if you ask me. But eventually, they stuck together for life. I mean, whatever thing, whatever absurd reason he thought he was exercising at the beginning, apparently was not why he was with her at the end. Reasons and intents aside, it's pretty remarkable that they actually met in high school. How many of those go on for more than a month nowadays, huh? I don't know about you, but mine were pretty swimmingly. Yeah? So swimmingly, is it swam out right out the window. Sounds about right. 
I just love how every time we see this thing, we are guaranteed a free memory link. <laughs> Must have left as big of a scar on his mind as it did on mine. <laughs> That's true. Every time we just go straight for the toy. Okay, backpack. Here we go. Should I even... No need. I'm all good now. I'm not committed. Ka me Oh for water's sake. Ha me <laughs> Okay. Hey Not cool ever. You never Uh something blocks someone in the middle of a Kamehameha. What? Oh is she not getting the reference? <laughs> 